Welcome to Nikki and Mode. My name is Nikki Makatini, and today we're at the heart of Newtown Junction. And amidst all of the vibrancy, you and I have struck gold at the Gentleman's Art House. Here, it's all about heritage, it's all about a good time and good food. We have the pleasure of speaking to Maria Katadowski, who is going to tell us a little bit more about her restaurant. Let's find out. Mara, firstly, as Nikki and Mode, we just want to say thank you so much for taking the time to meet us today. Absolutely. Firstly, beautiful space and equally interesting person. I think that when it comes to you, there's so much to talk about, including your other spaces that you, 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 you have worked on. But we'll start at the beginning, which is right here with Gentleman's Art House. Tell us a little bit more about this space. Okay, so this is our absolute baby <laughs> heritage gem in Newtown. Yes. Um, called the Gentleman's Art House, yes. but it's a kind of double entendre, play on words on Gentleman's Art House, Art House, oh. and uh, yeah, it's just got these gorgeous green, you know, absinthian green tiles, yeah. um, and these delicious teal velvet sofas, yes. um, and it's really just us playing with a heritage space and saying, how can we bring it up to speed for contemporary days? It's a beautiful space, it's very alive. So how did the idea for, 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 for using this space uh, come about? Were you just like walking around and thought, oh, here's a beautiful space that I wouldn't mind? Or wh where did this yeah. process start for you? Well, I think as, as with anything, you know, it, it asks you what it wants to be as well. But we have, um, as I have a background in uh, architecture, interiors and yes. design, um, I'm always, you know, my head will turn with a very good looking space, especially a heritage space. Yes. Because a lot of our, you know, specifically in Josie, um, a lot of our heritage spaces are not accessible. Mm. They're very much in the deep inner city. Mm. So this was also part of us, um, you know, our initiative to work with the inner city, you know, rehabilitation and just like seeing how can we re-access these gorgeous gems. Um, and on the other side, from a commercial perspective, it's also one of um, kind of eight properties in our, in, in our group, in our portfolio. And because of that, you know, the you know the landlord who was investing over 3.1 billion in the area was saying, hold on, I need a sound operator, but also someone who gets design and architecture oh, and will fantastic. sensitively restore yeah, the space. So yeah. that's kind of where it goes. That's fantastic. And then when it comes, to, like, like you mentioned, with the naming uh, gentleman's art house is a play yeah. on words. With okay, so this is a heritage space, as you've emphasized to us. Yeah. Uh, so gracious. Say now, what were some of the challenges that come with putting a space up and working with a space like yeah. that? Well, look, anything worth doing is going to have a couple of challenges, yes. so it was part, kind of part of the course. The fact that obviously it's a heritage building, it's listed, it's 1911, means that Prague had very specific kind of uh, rules about mm. what you could and couldn't do. Oh, yes, so yes. we worked with Mashabani Rose as well, who were the heritage architects on the property. Mm -hmm. But um, the restoration was uh, was our own room. Yes. Um, and then Atsabri, who is the, um, you know, the developer, they also were involved. Mm -hmm. So what, what we basically did was you can't remove a lot of walls and there was like a big hoo-ha to take out some of the stores but mm. what we did was we left the ghost of those walls and then we reused some of the slate walls you know oh, that were in here in tables so there was a quite a sensitive restoration oh, wow. so there's that challenge and then you yeah. got six urinals either side and what do you do <laughs> with it you know? i saw those <laughs> And yeah. so, what was that other element uh, about your kitchen, about how you had to work around that as well, also uh, linking into the heritage element? Yeah. Well, because the space is so, you know, it's a small footprint, it's yeah. only 70 square meters, yeah. but I mean, who has, a, you know, washrooms like this? So, what we did was we decided to take the, the practical functions, being the kitchen, mm. beautiful wood burning oven, the bathrooms, mm. and actually move them outside so that we could have full use of the footprint. And we put them in this gorgeous kind of matte black. Um, um, building it, up, you know, on the outside. I saw that. So I it kind of, kind of talks to it. So there's an essay between the it's two spaces. It's beautiful. I saw that. Um, all right, you're one that will go to the ends, no ends, to be able to create your own little masterpiece. And I know that in other works that you've done, you have actually been known to create your own pieces for spaces if you can't find the exact piece. Yeah. What were some of those when it comes to the space? Well, obviously, um, because it was a very kind of uh, specific space, you know, you need to create bespoke design. So with the urinals, we converted them into throne banquet seating. So there's a very long, very kind of French, uh, you know, kind of sexy turn of the century yes. kind of vibe. Um, with underlighting and tassels, uh, quite yeah, decadent. Yes. Um, and then on the on the other side, we had um, uh, you know this beautiful circular ottoman, yes. which becomes a stage for the theatrics. It's so dramatic! The it's like center right in there. Yes. Uh, well, you Theatrics. often have like uh, 
yeah, you have performances here as well. Tell us a bit more about those, actually. That that yeah. that is an, an interesting element to it as well. Yeah. I'd like to I think with it with it being called, you know, art house, the yes. gentleman's art house, it's mm. all the arts. So mm. it, yes, it's the paintings yes. and the Kentridges and yes. the Sokotos mm. and the um, Battises and everyone who we've got around. But it's also about the performing arts and the theatrical arts because if you look at Market Theatre in yes. Newtown, it's all about Guru Makeba, yes. it's got that history, you know. Um, so we very we were very cognizant that we had to bring the theatrical element back in. So we've got like a gorgeous kind of like soprano who comes and sings, yes. or there's like a fire eater or yes. a burlesque or um, you know, just a whole oh, array of beautiful and if performers. I'm, if if someone is watching is interested in coming to four of these evenings, when which day of the week are they? Well Thursday nights are an like epic, epic <laughs> evening yes. that you kind of book on line and you have this amazing curated journey so Stunning. it starts with like delicious um you know like incredibly crafted cocktails oh. then it goes on to um food you know there's like a mousse bouche and then there's another course and then there's like a palate cleanser and another course and another course so it's really quite special you're going to be making your way here on those days yeah. <laughs> yeah, but it's quite it's quite easy you just log into www.gentlemensarthouse.com and all the you can actually see the performances yes. and, and what what's going on just have an idea um, of what it's about yeah and then also always a private events venue people okay. come here and have their own party like a lot of people want to have their own Theme, you can theme your own. Oh, that's totally. fantastic. That's yeah. awesome. And so, um, the space putting it together, how long did it take you? From I love this place to this is gentlemen's art house. Quite, it quite long, longer than it normally takes us in commercial Sheesh. spaces because of the heritage element. Yes. I think all in all, it probably was about two years mm -hmm. that we were involved with it just mm -hmm. to unbundle it and kind of first restore it from yes. a heritage point of view so it's almost like stripping everything away yes. and then kind of starting to add again so you need to get back to the bones of the building and kind of almost like do an edited reductive process and then you start doing an additive process where you throw in the valve ah, and the tassels on the glass it's on the also glass. rich it's also rich yeah. but this is this is something else i i, I saw in one of your the, the other um establishments that you created that you went as far as climbing a palm tree for creation <laughs> for inspiration yeah. what 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 extreme did you go to for this space yeah I mean, the one you're talking about is in the Congo for the Warren Buffett Foundation yes. with the guerrilla ecotourism. So yes, that's a whole exactly different thing to this. Um, but I think, you know, just kind of being in the space when it was absolutely, it was crazy because there was massive excavation going on mm -hmm. on both sides. Mm -hmm. And this was kind of like this little man that can. Um, so it was hanging on a piece of earth like this. And there was like, you know, three floors of parking on the one side and on the other. And because it's heritage, it kind of, you know, stood its ground. Mm, of um, so kind of visiting it with a hard hat and kind of, you know, seeing it as with, literally with urinals and the bathrooms and just trying to have the vision to allow myself to be a conjurer, to say, just tell me what you want to be wow. and I'll, I'll do it, you mm. know, I'll kind of, you know, breathe new life into mm. the space. And you've had a, lo a, a very extensive sort of, you, you've looked at interior design and you've studied it from different angles because you've got the history part of it, you've got, I mean, you, you know, so you studied in Milan, Italy as well. What would you say the importances are that we're seeing that we're sitting here as, as now? Um, you know, I just find, I think in the millennial age where it's all about instant gratification mm. and kind of very short term and people mm. want things like yesterday. Yeah. Um, I think there is something to be said like a, you know, like a building like this that stands <laughs> from 1911 yes. is to make good foundations yes. and start with like really sound education, understand history of arts. I studied history of art at the University of South Africa and then interior architecture and design at the Faculty of Architecture and Design. University of Johannesburg and then Milan was really about doing um, it's called strategic design and corporate innovation so kind of looking at things looking at the business of design and also seeing how do you take something beautiful yeah. but also make it kind of sustainable yes. from a commercial perspective yes. and a critically acclaimed perspective mm -hmm. so you get all the awards but it mm -hmm. also manages okay. to sustain itself. Those awards do they stand for much with you or what do they mean to you when you're recognized for your spaces and for well, your everybody for your... likes an award. Um, <laughs> hey now. But I think I think it's really um, you know we now have 54 international awards which are absolutely wow. amazing and it's kudos and it puts South Africa also on a map yes. for leading design and that. Um, it does count because people take notice and also the guys with the bucks, the guys with the properties, the yes. landlords, they all kind of go, hold on, you know, maybe we're in a good place here, maybe we can trust these people. So yeah. I think it I think it does that and I think it also elevates design um, to like a you know, just to like a higher level and yes. it, it does 
people understand that it is a real commodity. Absolutely, absolutely. You speak about commodity, your art pieces. I'm taking you back now to the space. Yeah. Um, your art pieces. Uh, what was the process with those? Are they local? Um, were you able to find some of the originals? Yeah. Everything that we have in here is an original artwork. And um, we've got an incredible, like, William Kentridge piece, which was specifically done for the market, for a market theatre play, which was uh, Uber and the Truth Commission. Yeah. You know, so it's very much like there, there are significant pieces here. You know, we've got Norman Catherine, uh, Jiris Sokoto, we've got um, something after Omer Stone, a piece yes. after Omer Stone. And it kind of rotates, you know. Mm -hmm. We have, like, a Pioneer, but, I mean, they're very special pieces, bolted to the wall. Um, <laughs> Um, but uh, I think I think it just also enriches the space mm -hmm. because it is an art house. There's Very visual much. arts, mm -hmm. theatrical arts, Very and much. Yeah, everything in between. Any parting statements for those that are watching the show that that would like to come through and and, and, and find out what Gentleman Art House is about? Yeah, be open-minded. Yes. We're about fun. Yes, we are. Uh, you know, kind of number eight in fine dining restaurants in Janus. I don't know how that happened, mm -hmm. we'll but it. um, it's it's amazing, and yes. we have an incredible chef. In I'm Zek Chef Janelle, she's incredible. Um, but the the whole, allow yourself to have the journey, come yes. and experience it, come with your crazy hat on <laughs> and um, be open to it. And as we say, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, crazy cats and acrobats, welcome to the Gentleman's Art House. Thank you so much. Thank you so Thank much you. for your time. Such it's been fun. such a great pleasure having you. Thank you. Right. Thank you.